What's good, family man? It is your boy, Ma. And Sade, and we're back at it again with another video with everybody's mom. I mean, today, y'all, we're going to be love, talk about an official video. I don't know if this is an old song, new song. Some people say they heard it. They might have heard a snippet. I like, bro, I don't know. We just got onto the B, the B Love uh, wave along with um, K Flock and um, D Thing and all them. We just got onto the wave. But I think this is a new song. So let's get into it. It came on November 3rd, but this might have been a 13th. song. Oh, yeah, 13. I think this is a song that they was talking about that um, that was up at one point and got deleted. Remember? Oh, it might have been. Because I, I swear they played the little, a part of the song, oh, but they showed the video. I don't know. It. I don't know. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong, because, like I said, I did be right in my mouth. Let's get it. <laughs> Whoever picking their samples, man, like, they be picking some good selected samples. Like, it's like you know the songs, these old songs, but they yeah. be, like, from, like, it's a mixture of white, black, 80s, 70s, Mexican, yeah. and all that, all 80s, 70s. It's like, it's all over the place. Like, whoever picking their samples really grew up listening to some old, old soul music. Yeah. Ah. 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 Yeah, they from, um, the Bronx, right? I think so. The Bronx, yeah. Papa died just how I started. I've been drinking, I've been trying to haul it. I'm not off the spot, I'm retarded. She can tap with the dot on the top, and I'm not with the media shit. And that fool will be not, he's not the way she's in his world. He'll never believe me a pass, and now he's gonna be shocking to you out of head. Bro, so he can see why there's not me fucking on what's at the hole. They might think I'm a bitch, just hope they don't think I'm a lip. Clock here, all right, you're three in his court. They're right now, I'm trying to see if it's lit. And it's time for shock, three, be one bitch. Niggas capping, but let's talk about that ratchet. I can't walk without a door hit. Party walk up on feet, I'm pissed. Trying to walk up on me, who not too good. I'm too sorry when I hope to drink. But she thirsty, get OC drink. Oh, he thirsty, he don't even think. He's next to my channel, okay, that's what he think. A nigga dumb, but that's what he drink. A nigga not my quick, that's how he blink. Beat it up, got an ass on the sink. Ran it up, on the racks in a brain. Throw back, I took the Mac in a mint. And I don't do the talking too much. Bro told me to, I was talking too much. I got knocked, I was talking too much. Felt like that he was always too close. Yeah, I remember when y'all was talking about, like, they did, like, the little raspiness in their mm -hmm. voice. Yeah. People in the conversation were saying, like, it, that's the, that's a certain sound that they're going for. Okay. okay. You know, like you know, certain rappers go for that, that's that's like a certain sound that that particular area go for, like the the Bronx. Okay. I think it's the Bronx. The Bronx, right? I think that's yeah, what I say. Bronx, it, I think. It, yeah. it, the, the way Brooklyn, they're acting, Bronx. like they whole concept, and like you said with the beats and stuff like that. Yeah. It honestly puts me in remind of Wu Tang when they first started. Do. Because they had uh, RZA was like the one who was finding like the old music and putting it together for them and stuff like that. Yeah. And then it was like it's just they had that same sound, but it's just you know they're older. But you know what I'm saying? It was like and they it's, had that same. And it's like style. whoever picking their samples from this from their area, they it, it got to be somebody picking the same like like that's picking their samples for them. I don't think it just. Like they going on there finding it. it's somebody that they know that's telling them, like use this sample. I sample think it sounds probably. good. Probably, yeah. And be love. He he hard. He hard. Like, but they're just... known for that. Like in New York, like they will take the old songs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And 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 put it's, a spin to and it's it. It is crazy that you and Shadi both said it. Like it was like March, March at the beginning of the year. Like in March, I was like. The little sample scene go it go take over again because it started with like uh you know Florida yeah. when they did their little sample y'all like, it's gonna take over again it's gonna be older samples than this.
always wanted to know what them bees was that be around their necks. I'm pretty sure it got something to do with like gangs and stuff like that. Go back to it. Let me see. They got like it's some bees that be them things. Oh. Cause I see K Flock had some bees on. Or oh, one yeah. of his on he had on red beads. With a bandana. It might and be his they, green um, and red. It might be like they distinct colors. Yeah. Like they gang colors or something. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Um, I feel like the Bronx scene, I feel like they go for more of a vibe than just the lyrics. Like the vibe of the song, no, like like the they go for, they they I feel like they care more about the the beat, yeah, the yeah. sound of the song than like the actual lyrics, cause it's like I would listen to the song just the vibe to the beat. Yeah, yeah, guy, I don't think you said I'm trying to read it because I couldn't understand him at first. It, like he like caught me off guard. Then like, it's always like the New York scene. I don't know if it was going y'all area, but you know like the pot smoke era of Fabio. You we we couldn't understand what they were saying at first. We're like, what is they yeah. saying? But I feel like the more you listen to it, like you keep listening to them, then you be like, oh, they were saying this the whole time. It's yeah, like I just feel, feel like slow. That's, that's just the New York <laughs> thing to me. Yeah, because it, like I said, when you go back to like Wu Tang, I couldn't understand nothing they were saying, but I love their beats. That's how I feel like with like the whole six nine thing. Like when he came out, we used to be like, why is this man yelling, yelling on yeah. every song? His beast was hard, but we were like, bro, this man just yelling too much for me. Like, 50 Cent. I mean, I was little. I it sounded like he mumbled. Then Pop Smoke came. It's the same thing all yeah. over again. Yeah. I think we just got to get used to it, though. No, they be a little hard. Though. I respect it's hard. Yeah, once I can understand actually what he's saying. <laughs> like, his beats I love. But it's just, it's I got to focus on what he's saying. Like, I'm literally had to rewind, hear it again. Hear it again, and then you know how you tear it up. You just be like, "Well, he's saying, saying something." Just, oh, he yeah. said, "He said, oh, I'm gonna hit you with a stick." <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man, y'all let us know what y'all think about this uh, new B Love, man. Y'all let us know if it's new or it's an old song that re released. But other than that, man, y'all already know what to do, man. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, subscribe to all three channels, all three channels, all three channels. Follow me and Charlie both on Instagram, man. Other than that, man, we out of here and follow me on TikTok.